Hello and welcome. So today we're going to talk about dry rotting on tires. Why it happens? Is there a way to fix it? Yeah, so let's get started. Okay, so right here we have a pretty muddy tire because we're out in the country. But bear with me, we will expose, we will clean the tire and I'll show you the exact dry cracking. Dry rotting, sorry. So before we start that, what exactly is dry rotting? Dry rotting is basically when the tire lost all of its, its moisture. So that can happen for, for a couple of reasons. The main reasons is aging. Like tires that are older, like more than five years, they tend to lose all of the, their moisture. And then the small cracks appear on the sidewall on the tire, also on the tread. Uh, then there is the direct sunlight, like if you park your car always on the sun, even if you have a chance to, you know, park it in the, in the shade, yeah, that's also gonna cause dry rotting from the UV light from the sun. And uh, another great reason which contributes to dry rotting is exactly this, underinflated tires. So if you leave your car like this, underinflated, or not as severe as this small lines are gonna appear here and if you leave it for like a month maybe even a week you're gonna see a small cracks and those cracks are gonna just spread and it will make your tire unsafe for driving so is there a way to, uh, to save a tire if it started to dry rot uh, yeah there is, but you have to catch the dry rotting in its early stages, like if it's way severe, it's just not worth your safety. So I'm going to show you the steps on how to inspect and how to prevent or cure dry rotting on tires. Okay, so first we're going to wash the tire, you know, to remove all the, the dirt and debris so you can inspect the tire and see how severe the dry rotting is. So your tire might not be as dirty as this one, but you know, just in case. Try to clean it off. Okay, so once you're done with the, the washing, you should let the tire dry. So I'm not gonna wash the whole tire, obviously, because this is only for showing you that this method works. So we're gonna leave this tire to dry so it can, it can expose the actual dry rotting. Okay, so as the tire is starting to dry out, uh, it's really exposing those uh, tiny cracks that I'm, I'm going to show you in, uh, in just a second. So for the next step, I just need a brush and then some angel oil. If you have already used bird, bird engine oil, that's fine. Or you can just use the, a new one. So we're going to apply the engine oil onto the onto the dry rotting and uh, what the engine oil is going to do it's going to bring back the the moisture of the tire and it's going to seal those cracks so they don't show anymore again this is only if only to be used if you catch the the dry rotting in early stages so here we go So after we're done applying with the, the engine oil, we should leave the tire to rest for 24 hours so it can soak the, the actual engine oil. Okay, so after 24 hours, once the tire is dry, you can see that all those small cracks that were present on the sidewalls are now gone. And also the ones here on the tread. So again, you can use this method only if you catch the dry rotting in the early stages. I would not recommend that you try to repair some old tires like older than 10 years. Again, it's, it's about your safety and uh, 
a tire with severe dry rot can just blow out in in uh, any second without any notice so yeah use this method only again only if you catch a dry rot in its early stages that's it